Good evening, good evening. Um, I don't really want to get this video across. Um, I still, for my last video, I still owe you guys, you know, the prayer points to those scriptures that are um, <coughs> written to you know, about, the, you know, the um, delivering yourself from destructive covenants, which I will do. But um, I really want to get this across. In these last days, you already know it says in Revelation that, you know, the whole world will be deceived by sorcery. And one thing I want to get across is that, you know, the moon and the sun has a big role on this thing. Um, so I have a few. I'll just tell you about the moon, right? You, you know, a lot of people think, you know, these these movies for these witches, you know, they take them for a joke. They, they just look at it as, 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 as a, you know, not serious, but it's a very serious thing. You know, if you, to be honest, brutally honest, witchcraft is pretty much in everything that we look at. Whether you know it or not, it's in music entertainment, it's in movies, it's in, it's, it's in the food industry, it's in the, um you know, it's in medicine, it's in, um, it's in anything you can think of, especially movies. So, um, so, the thing that I need my people to know is that, you know, in these last days, these type of things will increase. You know, spiritual warfare is actually increasing. That's why you see a lot of deaths that's really don't, it doesn't make any sense to you. You see it increase on the news. I mean, you know, at the same time, the devil is using that, you know, put fear, the fear monger people. But at the same time, you can see it's clearly the the range, the derangedness of these, of killings and murders becoming more like, you know, more demonic. Like I said, that girl, she she uh, she got jumped by her own friends in Mexico. You know, that's not normal at all. You know, they were supposed to be, her best friends was in there and you know, they dis dislocated her spine, you know. It's just it's not normal. You know, that they went that extent, you know, they could have beat her up in America but they chose to do it in in Mexico. So that's just unless you know, the devil he's captured the minds of people that have taken complete, completely control of their vessels. And, um, you know, it's people that's walking around knowing like you and me, but, you know, that will, you know, literally, like, you know, eat you. Like, literally, eat you. So, this is the times that we're in. It's in the Bible. So, there are all, people said that, you know, people eat their, their, their own their own children in these end times, especially when um food isn't around, like famine. But, um, people don't, it's people that do that without even being a famine. So, this is the world, you know. The Lord said to put on a whole, put on a, um, a whole armor of God. So that you may be able to stand up against the wiles of the devil. And, and especially in the evil time, because the days are evil. So people use the moon for sorcery and it's still with magic. They use the moon to pull a person down. They can pull a moon, they can use the moon to curse you. The curse with the program an accident you know, on a certain day, a certain time, you know. You might go out, say if you're a celebrity or just a regular person, you might be going out on like a regular day. You don't pray, you don't you don't pray before you go out. You don't wake up at six. You don't wake up and pray before the sun goes up. You just go out, <clears throat> and you don't even know someone. You know the devil is used someone to program something against you. That's how people, you know, walk into their death. That's why in Psalms ninety-one, verse five through six, it says, "We um be which not fit to tear by night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that waits in the day." So people don't people are oblivious and don't think about it. You know. That is destruction that's waiting for you. That's already in place for you to um, walk into, like a duck, like a um, mouse trap. You know, um, and even if you read the book of Psalm thirty-five, that's the best distinction description where I can you know, Psalm thirty-five is you know they lay snares for me. Um, it even says in Proverbs, "Say he who he who diggeth a pit shall fall into it." So the Lord is against those who lay snares and traps for people. They do it every day, all day, to the children of God so, in this life. So when a person wants to show you, they use the moon, the agent of darkness. And um, there's a strong impact of the moon towards the earth and man. Lots of people destiny have been trapped down in the second half of these by the, by the decree of enchanters and diviners. Perhaps you were not aware of this demonic operation. So in Job 22, verse 28, it says, You should decree a thing and it should be established. And the light should shine above thee. Now the Lord is talking about using it for, you know, according to the scriptures. And for blessings, but you have know, wicked men and women who decree evil went to the moon, and they, you know, they decree against you, your family. They could decree that you know you're gonna be sick, or you're gonna die of AIDS, or you're gonna die of cancer. They could decree decree these things, and people think you know the, the tongue is just the tongue, but it has power. So the Lord said, "Death and life 
death powers and death and life is in the power of the tongue. Those that love will eat the fruit of it. You know, um, you gotta know that words always carry spirits. Word, words carry power. And it's like arrows. That's why the Lord said, put on a whole shield of faith. Put on a shield of faith so you can quench up before you die of the wicked. And to always, he said, men ought to always pray. Pray without ceasing. He said that to the disciples. He said that. And it was, when he said that, it was midnight, 12 midnight. So Jesus knew how evil it was during the nighttime. You know, when we sleep, that's when the wicked wake up. And that's why you see a lot of these, you know. You notice these high level of um, massacres. People just going to schools and shooting around. That's not... Don't think this is happening. It's just happening. It's just being programmed to spin around for these people to do this. You know, people can program a person to, or program to a city, a state, um, for destruction to come about. You know, anything that you see going on in the physical is being, is having this spin around. So, age in the darkness zone. We do, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ephesians six twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness, and against spiritual beings in the heavenly places. So, each world is a darkness, spiritual wickedness, they operate with each other. And of course, <clears throat> principalities, they all operate with each other. And they carry these things out. So, nothing that you see that's crazy or deranged or just wicked. It's not just happening. It's, it's the, the devil's orchestrating it. So, it's kind of a demonic orchestration. So, um, the bottom is enchanters. And um, the Lord already said in Numbers 20, 23, He said, For sure, there's no enchantment against Jacob, neither is he in any divination against Israel. <coughs> So, um, let's read that real quick. Let's go to number 23. Now, let's just go to number 22. Number 22. We're still going to get to the moon, but i got to pray a little different. Number 22. All right. So, you know, somebody can be programmed to get up one day and just, just start doing crazy stuff. Or they can program death in your sleep. So, number 22, um, six, let's just start from six. Number no, three, he said, Moab was so afraid of the people because they, they were many. And Moab was distrust because of the children of Israel. <coughs> he said, and Moab said it to the elders of Midian. Now, should this company look up all that amount about it as an ox looking at the grass of the field? But at the son of Zippor was the king of the Moabites at the time. And we're going to skip down to, it said, that he sent messages, therefore, to Balaam, the son of Beor, to Bethel, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, who to call him, saying, Behold, there's a people come out from Egypt, who they cover the face of the earth, that they abide over against him. So this king, he sees the children of Israel as a threat, so he wants to destroy them through curses. Amen? So it says, Come down, therefore, therefore I pray thee, curse me, this people, for they are too mighty for me. Here with a venture, I shall be, I shall prevail, that we might smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land for I want, and you thou blessed bless, and he whom thou curses curse. So this king is trying to drive out the children of God by using craft, by words. Saying the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand, that they came into Balaam to speak unto him the words of Balaam. So let's go down to eleven. So this is what the Lord um Balaam was saying to Balaam, um the Lord, he's trying to get the God to curse his own children. So behold, there's a people, or uh, there's a people come out of Egypt, which covereth the face of the earth. Come there, curse me them for the prayer I shall be um be able to overcome them, and and I shall drive them out. And God said to Balaam, that I shall not go with them, and that I shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. So you know, in these last days, you see what's going on, right? You see a lot of contention going on between different kingdoms, nations, whatever you want to call it. It's all it's all written in the Bible. The Lord always said this will happen. Amen. So, um, you gotta be, you know, those who don't walk in the round in the flesh and not walking in the spirit in the mind, they're gonna be caught, they're gonna just be fall into the trap and destruction because they don't, they're rejecting the things of the spirit. You know, the wicked people are more spiritual than so called, you know, God's children. Sadly, it is that way. Um, so another scripture, Isaiah 47. For the sun. Hold on a second. I can find the other Bible. It's not in here. Um, here we go. Hold on a second. Now, Isaiah for the sun. Hold on a second. Hold on a second.
and it says rain. So you know, wicked people are you know, you see people die off a terrible accident, you know, accidents just don't happen. They happen because they're programmed to happen. That is where I'm. So, um, you know, this is due to that spirit of Jezebel that operates the men and women. So if you read Isaiah 47, it says, Come down, sit in the dust of virgin, daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there's no ground. O daughter of the Chaldeans, Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender delicate. Tear the mouse holes and ground milk. Uncover the locks, make better leg. Uncover the thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, for the shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man, the Lord says. That is for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name. The Holy One of Israel. Sit thou, son, and get thee into the darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans. For that shall no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance, and give it up into thy hand. Thou didst shew them no mercy upon the ancient, as thou very heavily laid thy yoke. So he's saying he's, he uses wicked for his purpose, but <clears throat> he said thou hast shewed them no mercy. This is what the Lord said to the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of witchcraft that operates the men and women. I'm clearing up. Oh, I'm being sorry, guys. He said now, let's get to verse 9. So for these two things shall come to thee in a moment, and one day the laws of children, widowhood, they shall come to thee, come. A bullying of affection for the multitude of the sources and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trust in thy wickedness, and thou hast said, None see me thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it had perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am not else beside me. And therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. And thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thy enchantments, with the multitude of thy sources. Where man thou live on from thy youth, if so, be thou shall be able to profit, if so, be thou man prevail. Thou art where in a multitude of thy counsel. Let now those astrologers, that's them with astrology, be those stars. This, this is what the Lord is speaking to the witches. And he said, Now go to those astrologers, you know, stargazers. They stargazers they can see. You know, if you read Matthew 10, here on, he was basically dealing with stargazers. They were called star hunters, and they were trying to destroy Jesus, Jesus Christ star. So he said, see to those star um, gazers and those monthly prognost prognosticators and stand up and see if they can save you from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them, that they shall not deliver themselves for the power of the flame, that they shall not be a quarter woman or a fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be into thee with whom thou hast labor, even thou mercy for thy youth. They shall wander everyone to their quarter, none shall save thee. Now, we, you know, when we fail to wake up in the morning, you know, pray, you know, we, 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 we fall into temptation. Right, car accident, um, someone in your family dying, um, lose a job, and we'll get into an argument somewhere and get in a fist fight. Like, the devil's always looking away for a way to try to bring, you know, manifest something. You know, he's a spirit. God is a spirit, and the devil is a spirit. So, you know, he's always trying to manifest. You know, just like the Lord manifests, the devil manifests wickedness against people. So, go to Joel, right? This is what I mean. Yeah, people. Yeah, people that woke up this morning, and they're not gonna come back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People that um, went to sleep last night, they didn't wake up this morning. So it's a cause. It's God's mercy and grace that we wake up each and every morning, and that we come back home safe. So this is Joel thirty-eight verses, starting from verse twelve. And this is what the Lord was speaking to Joel. You know, He was letting him know. Have you? It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days and caused the day spread to know its place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth? So. Have you commanded the morning? That's what the Lord sent us. That it says, and cause the day to know its place. So we command the morning. You command blessings. You command protection. You command favor. Um, it says that it might take hold of the ends of earth. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. So you're shaking the wicked out of your day. You're shaking um any destruction, evil, any evil that it might have been spoken against you in the spirit realm. <clears throat> that it might. It says it is turned to this clay to the seal. That it stand as a garment. And for the wicked, their light is withholding. So the light is withholding of the wicked, and their high arm shall be broken. Amen. So that's what I mean. So um, if you read Psalms 5, Psalms 5, 3. Um, hold on one second. Psalms 5, 3. It says, my voice shall I hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, that I will look up, for thou art not a God that hath pleasure and wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The fool that shall not stand in thy sight, thou hittest all the works of iniquity, thou shalt destroy them that speak leastly. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy and fear, and will I worship toward thy holy temple. Leave me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of my enemies, make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithful in their mouth. 
that inward part is very weakness. Their throat is over so you know, that's like a grave. So when people, the wicked are just like, are just in this world, their mouth is like an open grave. They speak death over people. And that's all they do. They speak death and curse people. Um, so their mouth is open so clear. Um, their throat is open so clear. said they fled with their tongue. It said, destroy that them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their treasure, transgressions. For the um for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. That this is a prayer. So this is an actual prayer. Let them uh, um let them ever show for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful thee. <coughs> so um let's go to Psalm nine real quick. Verses let's go to let's go to um twelve. It said when he make an inquisition for blood, this is the Lord, when he make inquisition for blood, he remembers them for he forgetteth, for he for he forgetteth not for the cry or the humble. So you have people to be afflicted by the moon, by the sun, that people program flick, pain, affliction, sickness, disease to you know attack them. It's spirit it's elemental forces in the moon and the sun. It's demons in the sun and the moon. And the, the wicked they consult with these demons and they come down and they afflict you at night. When you sleep, that's why I said when while, while men sleep, the, the enemy came in so tars. But um it says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I um, suffer of them that hate me, that they'll lift me up from the gates of death. So this is King David speaking to the Lord. Even as he was king, he still had to go through any bad, endless battles because he still had a lot of open doors. Because you know, he you know he didn't live. He did a lot of things. So he, that's the same thing. Same with us. Even as we get a blessing, it's a lot of open doors that the enemy is using to attack us. So he he basically fought almost like that his whole life. So the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they had made. In the, in the net which they hid in their own their own foot is taken. So, you know, we ask the Lord, Lord, any any pit that the enemy has laid for me um this day or this month, or Lord, let their own foot be taken. You pray this over the family. And that and said that let the net that the enemy has laid for me, or Lord, let their own foot be taken. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked should be turned into hell. Or Lord, for the God, let the wicked be turned into hell. And all nations that forget God in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, For the needy shall not always be forgotten. For the expectation of the poor shall not perish. Ever. Rise, Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heat be judged in our sight. Put them in fear, Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. So you see what's going on in these other nations. You got people, you know, just, you're seeing people being killed for believing in Christ. And he's, it's been, it's, people's eyes are opening to it. You know, I just seen um, this woman, this African lady just got stoned. It was on the news, I believe. She got stoned. It's on YouTube. Too. She got stoned because she's saying Jesus Christ. She got stoned to death. So, there's no, the wicked. You know, the Lord doesn't forget his children. Um, what a bit. So, let's continue. So, um, so if you read the book of John 8 12, it said, Then speak Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followed me shall not walk in darkness. When we follow unto Christ, we won't walk in darkness like the rest of the world, but shall have the light of the life. So, it is possible for witchcraft. To project a hidden spirit into the moon to monitor you. So a hidden spirit can be in the moon to monitor you and waste your person versus you. So that means you can go from being healthy to being sick. You can go from being healthy to getting COVID. You can go from being healthy to getting HIV. They, they can program it. You know, these demons can give you whatever sickness. You know, any sickness or disease we get is for the bit of health. So I'm a demon. Every sickness that's on the earth is a spirit. Spirit of cancer, spirit of HIV, spirit of COVID. So pestilence, that's why I said, no, that's not for the pestilence that walks in darkness. So pestilence is actual walking spirits at night that is in a form of sickness. And um, so they can project us. So when the enemy uses the hours of the moon, like 12 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 6 a.m., um, they use the hours of the moon to launch serious attacks on your life. That there are powers that have limited. A lot of people believe that as long as they're praying, you can always overcome some principalities. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. There are many people that pray a lot but fail to target their prayers. So it says, um, we read the story of Joshua as the leader of the um, Israel, Israelites. He, uh, he asked God to cause the moon and the sun to stand still so that his army might continue fighting by daylight. However, the God further assisted Joshua by calling up a powerful storm to bombard the Canaanites with the rain and hailstones. Following this battle, Joshua led the Israelites to several more victories and ultimately conquering much of Canaan. So just as God fought for Joshua, we need to take this advantage by praying to the moon. It is particularly important for God to expose and arrest all powers in the heavens. So and when people hear this, you know, this is witchcraft what you're talking about. 
But it's in the Bible. You just see Joshua told the moon, the, the moon, and the sun to stand still. It is still still. So, you know, you're gonna have people that receive this. You're gonna have people that's you know still trapped in religiousness, like I was. You know, that's a trap for the enemy. And I said, as long as you're in that in that type of um, walking in um, religiousness, the enemy gonna have a field day with this all day, all the day long. So it says, um. This is a particularly important for God to expose in the rest of ours. It is about the time to shake out the moon. So, like I said, shake out the wicked out of the um, out of the out of the morning. It is about the time about the time to shake out the moon with our aggressive prayers. Spiritually, there's some mysterious things programmed there. If you're a Bible student, you will agree with me that there are powers that rules the day, and others that take charge of the night. When spells, jinxes, curses are cast into the moon, the element respond to it. Look for appropriate persons to attack. This prayer program is likely organized for you because God knows that it's time for you to take your prayer word for warfare off the earth to the Hebrides by pointing hands into it. The main tool for the operation is actual projections. You know, actual projections, you know, that's like spirits, you know, spirit around projecting to your house. You don't see a spirit in, but you can feel the presence. So, um, you know, witches and wizards, they can lay down their bed and actually project out of their body and go on a spiritual journey. And they can even, the demons can project from the moon into, into, your, um, into your room. That's why you have some people that's in a crazy house because they seen they're being plagued by the devil. And um it's a lot of people that don't believe in Christ that are so called, you know, being um called crazy, you know, because the devil, he, of course, he wants to kill, still make you go crazy. He wants to steal your sanity. They project the powers into the moon to influence the lifestyle of people. So you know, life can go from feeling blessed to feeling cursed. You can go from, you know, just things that happen. A witch doctor takes advantage of the moon to operate at night. He issues evil decree into it. And that's why you see some people today having all kinds of nightmares. This demonic agent carrying carried out is this move to obstruct and plant powders into their lives of their victims. In addition, the moon can be programmed by the wicked as an altar and gives a person. It can also serve as brass against one's prayers. So the moon can also be like brass. The gates of brass, the scripture Bible said, he should break the gates of brass, cut the iron bars asunder. So the gates of brass is like a metal door and they have a spiritual door. It's like a prison, but it's gates. It's a gate. You pray when you pray. Your prayers don't get through because it's closed. So they can cause the moon to be against a brass. And if you read the book of Joshua, this is Joshua. So it said, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered out the Amorites before the children of Israel. He sent in sight of Israel. Sun stood up, stood up on Gibeon, at the moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stated to the people that avenged themselves upon the enemies. It's not this written in the book of Joshua. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hastened not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of man for the Lord for Israel. So you have false prophets using the moon against people. You have agents of darkness, warlock sources, using it against the church, using it against the family. At um, Deuteronomy 4 and 19. So you have people that worship this moon and the sun. It's, it's a star god, it's a moon god, and it's a sun god. So Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 19 it says, Unless thou lift in the eyes into the heavens, but thou see the sun and the moon and the stars, even though the hosts of heaven. So the Lord said not to worship the hosts of heaven at all. Or anything under the earth or on the sea. So this be driven to worship them and serve them which the Lord that God had divided unto all the nations under the whole heaven. And even if you read Genesis 1 14 said, and God said that it be light. You know, so he said the sun and the moon for light. But the other people that worship him said, God said, let it be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let it be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for um, lights and the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, and the greater light to rule the day, and the less light to rule the night. He made stars also, and the eating in the morning for the fourth day. So, particularly when you want to um, try to cancel out any wickedness, that's that's, a, that's in the moon. You want to do it at the six. And this is the time that which was you know start when they get, leave work, whatever. They start programming their wickedness into the moon. That's when they start cursing people, programming curses. Bewitchers, manipulators, so they can program bewitcher to bewitch your family. You can program bewitcher to bewitch your teacher or your boss to come against you, to um, come against you literally to get you fired. Um, the moon has its own mysterious power. It evolves from the earth during the night. One of the purposes of the moon is to light up the night. Of course, the moon is a good example of the heavens declaring God's glory. And even in Psalms 19:1, it said the heavens should declare God's glory. So the command of the moon will give us a chance to shake out all evil decrees from the body of the moon. And it said, many people may not be aware that why the moon is so important for declaration. So, yeah, which is what they're decreeing. Just like the Lord said, decree shows come to pass. You have people that decree evil. That, uh, they can decree evil judgments against you. They can decree evil verdicts. Witchcraft verdicts. Just like you're in a court case, right? They can program it. 
but um, they can program you to get arrested or to be accused. So this is the detriments that people don't know about. So this is the symbol of the moon clearly show the glory of God. At some stages, humans depend on the moon for sight in the night. Do you know that there's some powers that worship the moon at night? So your yeah, powers that worship the people that worship the moon at night. Unfortunately. And um, with that being said, we're going to just do some prayers. We're going to do some of these prayers. And particularly do this at the 6th. And then, so, before we start, we are going to um, just, you know, give thanks to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We thank you for your grace and mercy over our life, over our family. We thank you for covering us, each and every one of us. Thank you for not allowing wickedness to come upon our homes, but our family. Um, we ask you to cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ before I even go into this prayer. I cover my family, my friends, my loved ones, my destiny helpers, and all those that um, care for me. With the blood, I cover our glory, our virtue, our star, our destiny. With the precious pool, with the blood, the blood of Jesus, I cover our soul and our spirit, our body. With the blood of Jesus Christ, I soak. We even soak our possessions, our car, and every furniture, clothing. We soak our um, dog, our pet, and even our environment. With the blood of Jesus, we soak our home. With the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we bless you. We thank you. We give it our honor, honor, all the glory, all the adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. For your brother, we praise forever, forevermore. Um, and we repent for every known and own sin, Father God. May your mercy speak on our behalf. May the blood speak better things against than any evil judgment that is written against us or our family. I repent on behalf of my ancestors, my forefathers, my family, and the church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How you will your way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, you know, as you, you know, pray. And if you can see the moon, whenever you ever see the moon, this if you do it. But if you can't, you know, it's just point whatever whatever you can, you know, do it. Put it up and say, O ye moon, this is repeat it. O ye moon, declare God's glory upon my life. Lord the mighty name of Jesus. O ye moon, declare God's glory upon my life and my family. Lord the mighty name of Jesus. O ye moon, declare God's glory upon my life and upon all those that concern me. Lord the mighty name of Jesus. O God of us, declare God's O ye moon, declare God's glory upon my life. In the life of my destiny helpers and my friends and those that love me. In Jesus' name, amen. So you, you pray and you stand in God for your, um, your, your lovers. You know what I'm You won't begin to cooperate with God's promise for my life and the life of my lovers and all those that are divinely connected to me. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus. You won't begin to cooperate with God's promise for my life and the life of my friends, my associates, my colleagues, my family, my destiny helpers. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You say, Father, let us move service to divine light upon our life. Let them mighty name never generalize because at this point the Lord knows we're speaking for all of it. Father, let us move service of divine light upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, let us move serve as a as a divine light upon our life. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Or you moon, refuse to withdraw God's life from shining to our destiny. Let the mighty name of Jesus. You moon, refuse to withdraw God's life from shining to our destiny. Let the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. So the moon can be like, no, it can use the moon to curse you. To make sure your prayers don't go through. <clears throat> so the moon can actually, actually swallow up your blessings. <clears throat> Amen. That's why we're going to say this. Oh, you moon, shake out whatever the enemy has programmed into you. to separate my light from shut it in due season. Let the mighty name of Jesus. You moon, shake out whatever the enemy has programmed to separate our light from shut it in due season. Let the mighty name of Jesus. And we're going to say, even say this. For the, whatever is programmed into the sun or the moon stars to cause calamity, tragedy, sickness, disease, affliction, sorrow, reproach, retrogression, badness. Delay, barrenness, poverty, hatred, rejection, neglect, pain, affliction, sorrow. We deactivate and deprogram. Let the mighty name of Jesus. We deactivate and do we deprogram. We deprogram in the name of Jesus Christ. We deprogram any spell. We deprogram every um, curses, jinxes, incantation. We deprogram any spells and charms. Let the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let me just say, I destroy every power that is an utter incantation and cursing to the moon against an elevation of the mighty name of Jesus. I dismantle and destroy every power that is an utter incantation and curses into the moon to block an elevation of the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> now, another thing, people don't know that birds, vultures are used by spirits as well. You know, demons operate in animals too, just like they operate in people. So, the evil bird can be used to swallow, it can bring bad news. You know, just like, you know, the best example I can use is a raven. You know, in the movies, when you see a dead body in the movie, you see a, a raven picking at the dead body. So ravens, like, like the devil use ravens and vultures. And they represent death. And they can, a witch or wizard or coven of the darkness, they can send off these ravens and vultures. And they can release 
they can cry you know huh, huh, huh. you know people just think it's a noise but they're actually speaking it's like in general you just don't know the language it's just like i'm speaking english these birds are speaking they just sound like a sound so they're speaking death they can release fear they can even release bad news and they even cause um they can release you know they're speaking death over so, so it can manifest and they can even bring sickness and they can even shoot arrows and they even swallow your glory, your virtues. And so you start getting sick. And they even shoot straight arrows. Amen. So I'm going to say, Oh, you moon. As a moon. Oh, uh, oh you moon. As you come out, to, come out tonight. Every evil bird that is a sign of paralyzing me or my double's destiny. Let them catch one. Let them my Jesus. Let them catch one. Let them my Jesus. Let them my Jesus. Oh, you moon. As you come out tonight. Any evil bird that's one of by the covenant of darkness. A sign of paralyzing my destiny and the life of my double's. Let them catch one. Let them my Jesus. Let them catch them in the name of Jesus. And for the, any strange arrow that will be shot by any strange arrow, any arrow that will be sh shot from any evil bird against me, my dumbest, my family, my friends, let they go back to the center. Let they go back to the center. Let they go back to the center. Let them fuck them and die to the name of Jesus. Let them fuck them and die to the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Another we can say this. For the Lord, in the name of any evil bird, that is a sign to swallow a glory. A virtue of star destiny. We're going to buy send them five of the book by fire and die to them in Jesus. Let them five of the book by fire and die to them in Jesus. Let them ice them in Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. So these birds, they can swallow your, your health. They can swallow your virtue, what makes you strong. And they can swallow. <clears throat> these are the messages that we don't know about. And um, so don't, you know, pay attention to this rhyme. We say, where are these birds coming from? They're hawking. So this is the type of weapons that the devil's going to be using against people. More and more, as the world gets more wicked. That's why we must defend ourselves, pray without ceasing, and to gain wisdom. Because what you don't know will be used against you. Amen. So next one we're gonna say, Oh, you moon, go to the covenant of my enemy's name and scatter them into desolation. Let them make some Jesus. Oh, you moon, go to the covenant of my covenant of my enemy's name and scatter them into desolation. Let them make some Jesus. Oh, you moon, go to. Oh, you, oh, we're gonna say this. We can even do this as well. Oh, sun, moon. So go to the cover of my enemies tonight and scatter them under desolation. Scatter them under desolation. Scatter them under desolation. But don't make them in Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. So, you know, your program is want to do that because, you know, they hold evil meetings in the, in the spirit realm. And, um, they can start programming destruction against you. And the best time they do it is at 12 a.m. It's like a demonic shift and exchange. They exchange people's destinies, their health, their soul, all type of weakness. So next, we're going to say, we'll go to our eyes. That the glory of the moon sent the brain of affliction to the bodies of enemies. But the mighty of Jesus. You know, even in Psalms 11, 3, he said he should rain, but the way he should rain, snares, fire, and brimstone, but the way in a harbor tempest should be the portion of their cup. And even if you read Joshua 10, it's, if you start with verse 11, he said he released hailstones. Amen. So we're going to say, Oh, you moon. We're going to say, Oh, God, arise. Let the glory of the sun and the moon bring. Snare the fire from someone to the camera of enemy. And then they be consumed by fire. Oh, the mighty Jesus. Oh, it's like spiritual it's on a spiritual level. For, oh, God, about us. Let the glory of the sun and the moon bring fire. Snare the brimstone. Let the affliction to the bodies of enemies. Oh, the mighty Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to say, I command by the bond authority, by the faith of Jesus Christ, by the power of prayer, I command every power using the moon to monitor our activities at night to die by fire. Oh, the mighty Jesus. Oh, you moon, refuse, or you're saying, I command every power, any power, any principality, any personality, any witch or wizard, any agent of darkness, that they will use the moon to monitor our, 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 our activities and let them die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Next. We're going to say, Oh, you moon, refuse to serve as a prince of Persia against me and my daughter's open heavens. Let them mind Jesus. Oh, you moon, refuse to serve as a, as a gates of brass over open heavens. And the open heavens of my family. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, bring me. So you can generalize that prayer over your friend, your double, your church member, your um, or your neighbor, or your city. Oh, you moon, refuse to serve as a prince of Persia uh, um, over my family and over my city. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you moon, refuse to stand as a prince of Persia against our open heavens over my city. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, and now you say, I plead the blood. Jesus over my dumbass as a protector hedge against any 
night invaders, against any action projections, against every synthetic attack, against any evil arrows. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, I deep blood the blood of Jesus upon me and my daughters on the body, soul, and spirit, and over the home, against every action projection of the moon, against any night invaders, against synthetic attack, against any <coughs> evil arrows. Lord, the mighty name of Jesus. So in, in Psalms 121, said, um, you should not be smitten by the sun by day, neither by the moon by night. So the moon shoot, shoots arrows by day. So it's arrows. So we decree and declare, we should not, me and our family members should not be smitten by the sun by day, neither by the moon by night. We decree, the sun should not smite me, neither my daughters by the moon by night. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Amen. Next, we just say, we moon refuse to strengthen any witchcraft the book against me, my daughter's destiny. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you will refuse to strengthen any witchcraft to work against me, my daughter's destiny. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me give me, let me give me say this. Oh, sun, moon, and stars. Fight against any stronghold of witchcraft targeted against my life and the life of my friend and my daughters. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, sun, moon, and stars. Fight against any household witchcraft targeted against my life and the life of my daughters. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Next one. And um, one more thing I want to say. Um, da, 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 hold on one second. Now, hold on one second. I'm looking for the scripture. The certain scripture I want to read. Um, and even now, home three, four, three, one. It says, "Woe to the bloody city! It's full of lies and robbery. The prey, the part of not." So, woe, judge me, woe, woe means judgment. So, the Lord sends judgment against the bloody cities in this in this earth. It's full of lies and robbery. So, we're robbed. The children got robbed by the wicked. And it sees, and even says in Nahum three, verse four says, because of the, because of, because of the, the multitudes of the whoredoms, the well favored hearted, which you know sell of, um, families through our whoredoms and nations through our witchcraft. So, like the moons and the stars, enchantment and incantation. So Ephesians six twelve. That's why he said, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against waters of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Acts 2.20 says the sun should be turned up into darkness and the moon into blood before the great notable day of the Lord come. So the Lord wants you to know that it's we decree and declare that no, according to Isaiah 54, 17, and it will be decree and declare that no weapon fashion or foreign against us shall prosper, but it will be turned to rise up against the judgment. And damn it! It will turn to rise up against me and my lovers who in curse words, enchantment, incantations, accusations, slander, mark, we can damn it! And we release the judgment of God against us. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. So as long as you say that every day, basically, and you condemn anything that's speaking against you, you condemn it and you silence it. But if you don't condemn it, it will prosper. So that's the thing that people get mistaken. They say, no weapon fast when against you shall prosper. But the wickedness prospers, prospers against them because they're not living a prayerful life and they're not invoking the scripture. Amen. So we are going to go to the next one. But it said this. I'm saying, any, any evil thing written to the cycle of the moon against me or my daughters. We blotted out by the blood of Jesus. We blotted out by the blood of Jesus. It always says in uh, Corinthians, what? Corinthians 10. Uh, Corinthians 2, 14, I believe. Said the blood of Jesus, of course, blots out the handwriting, which was written against us, which were contrary. Blots out the ordinance and the handwriting, which were contrary to us. You know, it wasn't. It's not supposed to, you know, be written against us because Jesus Christ, by the blood, of, by the blood, of the, by the blood of sprinkling, that speak of better things than evil. The new covenant, Jesus was the mediator of the new covenant. So His blood blasts on any evil ancestral curses, any evil ju judgment that is being decreed or pronounced against us by ancestral demons. So you got to notice Galatians three thirteen says, "For for He has redeemed us for the curse of the law, for He was made a curse for us." So He be like, "Curses He who hung up on a tree." So Jesus was a curse for us. So it, we can't be cursed. But that doesn't mean sin was, he won't try that he does it every day. Like I said, if you, if you go back to Numbers 22, um, Balak was just to tell the Balak, come curse me these people. Come curse Israel. The Lord said, thou should not curse them for they are blessed. And it was to the point the Lord had to step down and destroy Balak because, you know, he wouldn't stop. He raised up some altars to curse them. Amen. So um, you have people that's walking around just bewitched. They're under a spell. They don't even know it. Now we're going to say this. We're going to say, any, any evil decree, any pronounces written or spoken into the cycle of the moon against me or my family, my lovers, we can damn it. We will evoke it. We will tell it back to the sinner. We will tell it back to the sinner. We will tell it back to the sinner. Let the mighty name of Jesus. For there will be decree, any evil thing written 
or pronounce with a creed into the circle of the moon. We blood it out by the blood of Jesus. We blood it out by the blood of Jesus. Right over to the back to the center. Right over to the back to the center. So, much, so someone can decree um, untimely death, premature death, um, sickness, disease, calamity, tragedy, kidnap, murder, um, car accident. They can decree AIDS, HIV. So we decree. We will vote in the evil decree with sickness, disease, death, calamity, tragedy, balance, delay, reproach, retrogression, poverty, um, joblessness, aimlessness, anti-progress, anti-marriage, anti-prosperity, um, um, singleness, um, failure, disappointment, hatred, rejection, destruction, calamity, tragedy, affliction. We will vote it. We over to the back to the center. We over to the back to the center. We over to the back to the center. We don't mind Jesus. So we revoke. You got to revoke it. In Jesus' name, and never gonna say any source or warlock, any witch, any wizard, any agent of darkness, any spiritual, any occultist, any person, any domestic enemy. I mean, someone you know, person, any domestic enemy or any external enemy that is using any idol to hinder our breakthrough season, our miracle season, testimony season, or um, miracle season. That don't fall down and die. That in my Jesus. We decree that shall fall down and die. That in my Jesus. We decree that shall fall down and die. That in my Jesus. Oh, the mighty my Jesus. Oh, the mighty my Jesus. Any source of warlock, which was a warlock, or called to spiritists, any ancient darkness that is using them, or priests, that or false prophet, that is, or any hostile enemy, or any unfriendly friend, or any stubborn pursuer, that will use an idol to hinder our breakthrough season, um, miracle, a testament from me, and those that are connected. Then I'll fight, I decree that she'll fight, then and die, then in my Jesus. We decree that she'll fight, then and die, then in my Jesus. We decree that she'll fight, then and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next one, what do you say? I break the power of your call. What's the prayer from your spirit? Using the moon to attack me, my dumbest staff of a bread. I don't mind you, Jesus. I release fire upon every power of your call. What's the prayer from your spirit? Using the moon to attack me, I know my dumbest break through our harbors. I don't mind you, Jesus Christ. We release Holy Ghost fire upon every power of your call. What's the prayer from your spirit? Using the moon to attack a staff of bread. In Jesus' name, bring it. Now, Leviticus 26 said, and even 21st, 27, he said, He that has the arm um, of familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be, be put to death. They shall stone it with stone. So the Lord is against those that have familiar spirits and wizards. You know, you either have a Holy Spirit in you or a familiar spirit or a marine spirit. What spirit of witchcraft? Um, or a serpentine spirit. Amen. So, um, we're going to say, now we're going to say, we're going to say this. O Lord, empower of the moon. What about that? Instead of the red path unto perfection. Oh, the mighty Jesus. Oh, God, the O Lord, empower. Of the moon, or by that, to, to our um, of our path unto perfection. I don't mind some Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're gonna say, now we're gonna say, we're gonna say, any evil powder or dust that will be blown into the cycle of the moon to cause spiritual sickness, blindness, and heaviness against me, my daughters, that it back for and did it with Jesus, that it back for and did it with Jesus, that it back for and did it with Jesus. I don't mind some Jesus. I'll go to us, you know, you know, um. When it's time for you to pray at night, you know, the enemy, a witch or wizard that's, uh, that's assigned against you, or the devil will cause them to blow, you know, like evil dust in the air. It will cause the spiritual sickness. It's aimed for you. So, you know, you might try to wake up to pray. It, uh, you might faint. So it's evil dust that cause you to get sick. Or, if, you know, you wake up feel like you just got drained like a battery. You slow, you can't even get up out of your bed. And that's what I'm saying. Any witch, any power, any personality, a double blow and evil dust into the cycle of the moon to cause spiritual blindness, happiness against me, or sickness, or anyone that I know. Did it back for to the center? Did it back for to the center? Did it back for to the center? Did it blow back to the center? Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Then we're going to say, we're going to say, we're going to say, Father, we decree that the sun smite my enemies by day and by the moon by night. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God of us, I decree that the sun smite my enemies by day. Let it be smitten by the moon, my name. Oh, God, let us, let us, a decree. Let us, scatter our enemies by the summer day. Oh, God, arise and let us, we decree. Let the moon be tear by the moon, my name. Terror by the moon, my name. For the enemies. Let the mighty name of Jesus. We decree this should be fretted and scattered by the summer day. Scattered and destroyed by the moon, my name. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, you got people that's programming destruction, frustration, terror against you, hallucination, whatever they want to program into it. Um, so that's why I saw anyone say said, that's not for the terror by night. So terror by night by the moon. No, for the arrows that fly by day. Arrows that fly by day by the sun. So we decree and declare over me and all that pertains to us. We decree that everybody should not experience 
the air was that flower by day by the sun, neither, neither should be experienced the terrible night by the moon. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Middle case is not a portion. In Jesus' name, amen. Next. So just know, even though I'm making this prayer, the enemy, is, the enemy knows I'm praying this right now. He knows that I'm speaking this. So just know, as long as you shut the God, the enemy's going to always shut up, frustrate your prayers, or to make sure you don't pray. So he wants to make you sleepy. He wants to interrupt you. He wants to, you know, stop your Bible study. He wants to, um, you know, he just wants to frustrate you. Pray. So the, the devil doesn't like a person that prays. And we're going to say this. Any, every strong man that woman that is using the moon to work against good things against my lovers. Oh, God, about that, I'm fucking that, and die! That in my Jesus. That I'm fucking that, and die! That in my Jesus. That I'm fucking that, and die! That in my Jesus. Oh, that might be Jesus. Oh, God, about any strong man that woman using the moon to stop good things from coming to my lovers. That I'm fucking that, and die! That in my Jesus. That I'm fucking that, and die! That in my Jesus. That I'm fucking that, and die! That in my Jesus. Oh, that might be Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray, man. And we're going to say, O ye moon, begin to fight against any power or any wicked man or woman. Call on my name or any of my name for evil that night. Before any evil altar or cover the shrine. Or the mighty Jesus. O ye moon, begin to fight and scatter. And scatter and perish. Every any power or any wicked man or woman. Call on my name or any of my dumbest name for evil that night. Before any evil altar or cover the shrine. Or the mighty Jesus. Begin to fight them. Scatter them. Or destroy them. Um, break them. Or the mighty Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Next, we're gonna say, "My heavens." We're gonna point to the, "My heavens." We decree, when you would produce and deliver divine blessings for me in my household. I do my name, Jesus. My heavens. I decree you should produce and deliver divine blessings for me and my lovers. I do my name, Jesus. And for the Lord, any conjuring of the sun, of the moon, and the stars, that they swallow our blessings, our breakthroughs, that they break us, get in the name of Jesus. 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 Or the mighty name of Jesus. So, which can pot can swallow your blessing. That's for a whole nother topic. So, we decree any country in the sun, moon, and stars that is swallowing our breakthroughs and our divine messages of uh, um, prayers. And then, break us, get up. Break us, get up. Break us, get up. Break us, get up by fire. And then, you want to use an edifice for the name. Die, the name of Jesus. Whoever uses an edifice for the name. Die, the name of Jesus. Whoever is using an edifice for the name. Die, the name of Jesus. Or the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Now we're going to say this. For the any evil altar, let us summon the stars, let us meditate against our blessings, our breakthroughs, testimony. We're going to let them catch one in the name of Jesus. Catch one in the name of Jesus. Catch one in the name of Jesus. Let them want you to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Let that wish, there wasn't. They should fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Let them fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Let them fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Or the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you know the, the devil know I'm praying this right now. But guess what? The devil is a liar. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. We don't care. So we're going to say this next one. It is sent to the decree of my life and my man, my, my, my lovers, my associates, my colleagues, my dad's members, or my friends, and my family. We cancel it and revoke it. We're going to tell it back to the city. We're going to tell it back to the city. We're going to tell it back. Back to the center, but the mighty name of Jesus. Every city to the decree, decree that to the sun, the sun, moon, and the stars. We will bug it. We will be cursed. We will bug it. We will tell it back to the center. We will tell it back to the center. We will tell it back to the center. But the mighty name of Jesus. So we declare by the divine authority, any spells, any charms, any hexes, any bewitching, any incantations, put into the sun, the sun, with the stars against our lovers to to bewitch our health, to bewitch our finance, our career, and bewitch anything, any. Program to bewitch um, our, our marriage, our relationships, our, our prosperity, our glory, our soul, our virtue, our star. And that's we did we do for Did it back for it to the center. Did it back for it to the center. Did it back for it to the center. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, every time my son's up, did it some begin to scare the infrastructure enemies. Oh, the mighty Jesus. Oh, God of us. Every time the sun's up, did it begin to bless the was a destruction for the camp of my enemies. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. For every turn of moon, she's up. Let it begin to believe stuff. Die by that for the enemy. For the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God of ours. Every turn of moon, she's up. Let it begin to fight, frustrate, scatter my enemy's plans against me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Nice one. Last one. What is it? Every spell, every incantation, the shaman, of which I am other into the sun, or moon, and the stars, and gets me my numbers. Destiny, our breakthrough, our miracle, our soul, our spirit, our body. 
my organs, my finances, um, my relationship, my marriage, um, my uh, a job, a ministry, a career. We black about the blood as we never fight about the blood. We cast about the blood. Did it back for it to the sinner. Did it back for it to the sinners. Did it back for it to the sinner. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And that's all I got for you guys. And I'm going to come back. God bless you guys on my own. Come on, it's dark. So I'm about to go home. And I'll God bless. Peace.